what is it that Panzura does? Um, plain and simple, we're a storage company. Okay, what does that mean? Um, uh, end users utilize us and use us uh, as, as they would any other NAS device. A typical NAS device in your environment uh, would come in the form of a Windows file server that you would access via uh, your traditional Windows Explorer. Um, no, no special tools required. Panzura is going to look much like that. And in fact, what this slide is, is trying to show you in a fairly technical way, I'll be honest, is, is what are the different types of storage, right? On the far left, you have your SAN storage. This is something you, know, you might have in your environment. Uh, you might mount that via uh, a Windows file server and present that to your end users in the form of a file system, files and folders. Okay. On the other hand, in the middle, you have your traditional NAS. And this is a device that, that, that doesn't require you know, a Windows file server to mount it. Um, it just presents a file system naturally. It's, it's inherently what it does. Okay. And on the, but in both of those cases, the disks, the actual media tends to be local to the device itself. And, and by the same token, users that are local to the, that entire stack get a good experience. Okay? The converse is, is, is that users that are far away from that stack don't necessarily get a very high quality experience. And in fact, the further away you are, the worse your experience gets. And so there's a lot of solutions out there that try to mitigate this, but um, in, in the AEC uh, industry specifically, that becomes very challenging. It leads to long events. Enter Panzura, right? We're on the extreme right-hand side. Again, we look like a NAS device, network attached storage. That means we're gonna present a file system. It's friendly uh, in the form of files and folders to end users. That's what end users see when they access us. Um, on the other hand, the unique part about Panzura is that we don't have to be adjacent to the media, to the disks. Our machines can be very, very far away from the disks. For example, uh, we have customers with disks in Australia and users in North America. It's about as far away as you can get, and we're able to sustain that type of uh, situation. Uh, so extremely far away. Um, and as you'll see, we offer some other benefits as well, this whole globalization of that data. We'll talk about what that means uh, as we move forward here.